Hey everybody, welcome to SRK Woodworks. I've been in this location for about a year now, and it's taken about a year to get the shop completely set up. Um, this is my first dedicated woodworking shop that I can call all my own. I'm, I'm rather proud of it, and uh, I'm going to give you uh, the tour. This is uh, where I do a lot of my keep a lot of my storage at this end of the shop. This is a, a dresser that was my mom's dresser in college, and my dresser in college as well, that now I use for screws, nails, hardware, software. Um, this here, this blue table, you can see it used to be mounted for a vise. was actually my first woodworking bench that I used throughout college and served me well, as well as my computer desk and kitchen table at times. Um, other material storage, scraps of lumber. It took a, a little while for me to get, you know, that minimum level of scrap together because really it sucks when you just need a little chunk of wood in your first few days in the shop and you have to go cut it out of a giant plank or go to the hardware store to buy a scrap of lumber. So now we've got a decent amount of scrap, including some old boat parts, which uh, definitely will be turned into something at some point. Old planks and things like that that I just think have got a lot of character because it's 100 year old wood and they just don't make trees like that anymore. Finishing storage, um, you know, I'm a big fan of the spray bombs. I use quite a lot of those, as well as some storage for projects in motion, we'll say. Veneer up top, got a bit of veneer collection because you can never have too much veneer. So uh, here we are at sandpaper storage, the so exciting sandpaper storage. I've managed to be given and find on the side of the road a lot of old drawers. These came from my parents' old bedroom, and then you just kind of build a cabinet and, uh, cheaper and easier than making new drawers. Uh, grinder station that will be more elaborate at some point. So this is my General International dust collector. I'm not so much proud of the dust collector as I am the ducting. It was a lot of fun to put all this rigid ducting. I've got an eight inch pipe coming up or six inch pipe coming up the wall and across the shop and then four inch drops wherever I need it with blast gates on all the tools. On the end of my table saw here, I've mounted my router table. The idea being that I can use my fence with the router, as well as my outfeed table that again, houses some router bit storage in, oh, in another drawer, be careful. So in a shop like this, where there's obviously limited space, the shop's only 16 by 20. I guess it used to be a two car garage, but it's since been converted to a yoga studio. And after that converted to my beautiful wood shop. Um, managed to find a little spot to sneak in my uh, crosscut sled, as long as you cut the corner off, it just slides in there like a glove. Uh, as well as keeping some sandpaper and other power tools in the bottom here. As well as lumber storage. I'm finding that lumber storage is, or lumber is hard to store, and right now it's kind of spread all over my basement, living room, and shop. But, wood's wood and you gotta have a collection. This is my beautiful Laguna 1412 bandsaw, which I'm very proud of. One of the uh, one of the tools I bit the bullet and bought new, and I'm very glad I did. I really like that it's got the full 12 inches. And after using the uh, the Delta 14 inch bandsaw for many years at work, I'm very happy to have something with a slightly larger table, a little more resaw capacity, and just a, a nicer saw in general. My multimedia center with my stereo, and I can bring my computer in here and listen to the podcasts. And plus, everyone's got to have the obligatory shelf full of old hand planes that uh, someday will be used. Uh, more stuff. This came from my parents' old kitchen that they're currently renovating. And I think, you know, my mom's suggestion of Stephen for the shop will stay there forever. Um, as well as up on the wall here, we've just got a piece of, piece of lumber with a groove in it where I keep my saw store, stored and my hatchets, which I love so much. Few of the old unfinished long boards and skateboards that I made over the years. Um, up at the top of the wall here, you'll see a, a nice little flitch of uh, in the tree or in the yard here. There's a lilac tree, pretty solid, that I cut down into planks. One of the first projects on the bandsaw because you know you got to get that resaw going as soon as possible. And uh, on the wall here, I've got my tool storage. Um, this was this box here for the planes was one of the first things I made. I wanted things mounted vertically and uh, more vertically than you can with planes. So there's magnets in behind here that hold everything on to stop them from falling off. 
I've tried to keep kind of the theme of the different tool holders together. So they've all made it, been made out of cherry, and they all kind of have a similar shape and angles on them with the idea that someday I'm likely going to expand this wall, change it, so all these blocks are dedicated to the tools and will be able to get reused further down the road. Carving tools and whatnot, obviously clamps. They say you can never have too many clamps, but down below here, I've got another small cabinet made up of uh, drawers. I just found these drawers. They were on the side of the road, pulled over and grabbed them, and they're beautiful. They're like veneer teak on the front and dovetails on the side. And that's where I keep drill bits and tape and whatever else, layout tools. So up here on the wall, everyone likes this. I've got my pencil sharpener, which is just mounted high enough that no one can reach it but me, but I don't have to get on my tippy toes, but it's a bit of a stretch. This is my bench. Again, one of the first projects I made in the shop. Very happy with how it turned out, except for the top. I made a big mistake. This, the base is just skookum. Really strong, really robust, nice and heavy, made it of ash. All mortise and tenons pegged and wedged. And I found a really nice vise, the Graz vise. I'm really happy with that, how, how that came out. The issue is I used some really poor quality material for the top, which was a big mistake. The veneer on this is just wafer thin. And even in the, the process of just leveling out the, uh, the ash rails on the top, I went through the veneer in places. So that will get changed at some point. I also drilled myself a bunch of dog holes, but being the genius that I am, the dog holes don't work because the planes and the vice is in the way. And the dog holes don't work over here because it hits on the rail. I'm off by three quarters of an inch. Someday I'll fix that, once I replace the top on this bench. So in the interest of uh, keeping my work bench clean and clear, and for aiding clamping, I've made up some MDF cylinders, which are just hollow logs that I can actually clamp to. And they work really well for clamping calls as well as holding my project off the bench to get clamps around it. Um, you can see I got a nice section of uh, railway, or railway there, which really works well as a small anvil. Um, turn it up on its end. Someday I'll get a really nice log that will that that will sit on. Working on a little project right now, making some frames for cork, so I can put my little pretty pictures up in the living room. Thirty minutes and ready. This here is that slab you saw in a previous video, and I have gone through the process of flattening it out. And uh, let me tell you, that was a fun day's work. Hours and hours and ankles deep in shavings. It really turned out nice. Uh, my beautiful little uh, planer here, which works really well. It's loud as anything, but uh, it sucks pretty well. When I want to use it, it gets pulled out of the room, and my dust collector tube, tube comes down from the roof, gets plugged in, and it runs pretty well with the, you know, the beautiful bulk barn plug. This here is the pride and joy of the shop. This is my beautiful 8-inch joiner. Uh, it's an old busy bee, I believe. I don't quite recognize this shade of green. It's not general, but this thing is a beaut. It's a full eight inches across, and it's a scoop and choocher for sure. It really runs nicely. I've got to get the blades off there and get them sharpened, but that will come down the road. General table saw, uh, general international table saw. I should be clear. I um, I bought this from New as well. I wish I had more nice things to say about it. And if you ever do visit the shop. You get to cut out your first initial out of wood, paint it, and it will go on the board. So at some point we're going to get some magnets on here and a bit of a metal plate so we can spell funny words. Now if I have a few more guests with vowels for first initials, that will really help a lot. Well, thanks for uh, having a look around my shop. Um, hopefully, Paul, you'll have some more videos for me up at some point, and I've uh, got a few more in mind. And uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers. So up on the wall here, everyone loves where my keep my pencil sharpener. It's just high enough that I can get up there without standing on my toes. Let's try that again without a beam, what do you think? <laughs> so everyone likes this. Up here on the beam here, I keep my pencil sharpener, which is just high enough that I can get to it without 